guys it's friday june the 8th headed over to the sawmill to saw some more walnut up and before we go there to stop by lowe's and get some fans and more about that this weekend or probably first of the week when the video comes out i'm going to change the way i do some air drying at the sawmill and try to increase my workflow just a little bit so we'll stop by lowe's here grab some more equipment for that then we'll head over to the mill and get to that walnut got some more nice black walnut here on the mill. This is an eight footer. The diameter is about 17 inches on both ends. So it's a pretty good log as far as sawing goes. The only problem is there's a little bit of a curve to it if you can see that. A little bit of a curve right here in the middle. You got two high ends. What you want to do when you're sawing for lumber, these are going to be sawed into five quarter boards, inch and a quarter thick. These will not be sawed into slabs. What I'm after here is to get a nice straight cant to saw out of and get this curve out of here. So we got this piece of timber turned this way for a reason. The two high ends are facing up right now and we'll call those two high ends the horns. And what I'm going to do is saw off both horns and come down here to where I'm catching this bark as well to where I've got a nice flat surface here where I'm going to start sawing parallel to the grain after that. And when that's done we're going to turn this log to where this is on the bottom of the mill and we're gonna have the belly sticking up at that point so the high point's gonna be right here in the middle and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna saw down to we're getting another flat surface parallel to the grain with that throughout the whole log so we've got a nice straight cant at that point i'll probably go ahead and turn it two more times and get all the bark off so we got nice square boards coming off that's how we're gonna do this here to get the curve out of this piece of timber getting hot today the high is 89 here in Tennessee hot day after this one is done we got another nice crotch log ready to load on here it looks like it may have one or two crotches in it to that another crotch log and then behind that one is another nice straight walnut log that will be sawed into lumber like this one let's get to sawing guys before the heat chases us out of here because it's gonna get hot now real quick here before we start give you guys another camera view of what I'm talking about in case that didn't make any sense Got our two high points here on the back and on the front of the mill. Those are the horns, saw it off flat, turn it 90 degrees, saw off the belly, and we're good to go. If you guys are familiar with this method, if it has a name for it, I don't think it's got a name for it, to be honest with you. Guys on the forum just talked about sawing off the horns and the belly. But uh, there's probably a name for this. I don't know what it is. If you're familiar with that term, leave me a comment below. I'd like to know what the name of it is.
you what, those boards got nicer as I saw down more into the log. Man, this is really nice right here. No juvenile wood. No knots or defects that I can see. Nice clear black walnut. This is 13 inches wide. Let's throw some water on her and see how she looks. 